Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. What we're going to continue on, we've been using a product plugin from Divi Gear. If I go to my plugins, the one we've been using is Divi Carousel. Today we're going to use Divi Product Carousel. And what we're going to do is we're going to create this product carousel right here. As you can see, it's got a nice add to cart button, price features, and of course it goes to the product itself when you click on it. Now we showed you how to build something like that with the carousel module, and this just took a bit of time and effort to do this. This one with the actual Divi product carousel plugin, it's unbelievably simple. A couple of clicks and you're there. And you can download this from my affiliate link below. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm using the Divi theme here. If you're making any sort of site at all, with WordPress, you really need to look into the Divi theme. It's absolutely awesome and just keeps getting better and better. And again, I'll put the link below here. It'll be my affiliate link if you want to test drive the Divi theme. So let's enable the visual builder here. We'll build everything on the front end as usual. Once it's enabled, we'll spin down to a a little carousel here. Let's just delete this and start from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to hit the little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. And I'm going to add a single row. Once I've added that row, it's going to prompt me to put a module in there. By default, Divi comes with all these modules already. But the one we want today is Product Carousel, which is the Divi Gear pro plugin that we're using today, which is not included with Divi. Like I say, it's a premium plugin. So let's just click on that. And it opens up with this box. And it's already populated it with some of our products. I've only got a few products on this site for demonstration. You can choose your content, recent products, featured products, sale products, best selling, top rated. I'm going to go for product category and I'm going to say laptop computers and I'm going to have a product count of eight because I think that's all I've actually got. And you can put them in different orders, popularity, rating, oldest to newest, newest to oldest, low to high, etc, etc. I'm just going to leave that to default right now. And you can have an add to cart button. I think I'll have an add to cart button. I'm not going to have the description. And let's just click on the carousel settings tab there. Now here it's telling us that on a desktop computer, it's going to show four columns on a tablet, three columns and on a mobile phone, one column. That's absolutely fine. You can change it here if you want to, but that works for me. Multi slide. That means it's going to slide the whole four across if you check that unchecked it's just going to do them individually one by one and as I mouse over there you can see it's got that add to cart button there obviously item spacing is the distance between them you can make it bigger or smaller I think the default of 30 was about right actually transition duration going to leave that one it is you can make it longer or shorter it's in milliseconds Center slide, that will just put the main slide in the center there, but I'm not going to worry about that. Loop, I do want it to loop because that way it's going to go around in a circle from one to eight, then from eight back to one and continue playing. Auto play, yeah. Pause on hover, I'm going to put that on so if somebody likes something, it'll stop rotating. Auto play speed, 1500 milliseconds. Let's take that up to 2000 milliseconds, which is two seconds. Arrow navigation, that's an arrow either side. Yeah, let's have that one on. 
and dot navigation that's the dots underneath there we'll have that one on too and you can align your dots left right or center i'm going to have mine in the center if your images my images are pretty consistent so they're, they're a similar height and if you had various different height columns you could enable this button to make them all equal height vertical align i'm going to put mine to middle actually i don't think you'll see a difference slide effect slide or cover flow what's that ah i see you've got that tilted version like that i'm going to keep keep mine to a simple one for this particular video the cover flow adds a shadow it gives it a sort of 3d effect which is pretty cool so do play with it but for mine today i'm going to keep it fairly simple link and background background i'm going to actually keep to white that's fine you won't see it but it is actually the background that's behind the image and the writing there so just for a moment i'm going to save that i'm going to change the background color of the section to a blue color just so we can show off these slides a bit better there's our actual slide content there you can see it a bit better that way so let's go back in the module and let's style up our slides a little bit so just go in there click the module cog and let's start styling our slide so let's go over to design don't want an overlay the title that's this title I want that at the top as you can see it's at the top now title font default that's fine what font weight let's make it bold and do i want to capitalize it no well yeah why not let's do that let's make it blue and let's put it in the middle there we go and take that font size up just a little bit there we go that's fine okay let's go down to the price don't want the price on top don't want to hide the price i'll leave it as a default font and again i'll make it bold this time let's make it green put it in the middle and make it larger too there we go that's fine i haven't i haven't got the description or sale badge you can do those if you check those in the content part you can do those there now to add to the cart button let's just blend that in that's pretty cool when you mouse over there it is so let's just cost customize it now regular background let's make it blue it's fine but i still want to be able to see the laptop through it a bit so let's take the opacity or opacity however you like to say it down a bit on that there you go you still read add to cart but you can still see the laptop through it now when we hover on it it goes black so here's the hover state i'm going to do the same thing with that i'm going to make it blue and fairly opaque there we go well actually we could take that up to a lot more solid so they know there's a difference now when you're on it you can add that to the cart a little difference there okay it's pretty much it we're almost done with this carousel i mean it's so easy you can customize your dots and your arrows i'm not going to worry about that and let's just give it a bit of box shadow and make it stand out a bit there we go okay let's hit the save button and save little purple button save our changes and exit the visual builder
there you have it you got a pretty cool looking little product slider then will that take about five or six minutes quicker if you're not talking through it like i was i think that's pretty cool it stops when you hover over it you've got an add cart button and of course it, you can either just click that and add it straight to the cart or click on the item itself and of course it will take to the item description page there you go so that's a Divi product carousel plugin by Divi gear there really good little plug plugin if you've got a WooCommerce site you might want to check into that and as I say you can download it from an affiliate link below this video so I hope you've enjoyed that if you have please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.